Hello everyone, welcome to a brand new Sims 3 speed build. This house is called Wexford Way and I built this a couple weeks ago. Well, not a couple weeks ago, it was like last week or something. And I also had another build ready as well. So that one has already gone up and this one is what you'll be seeing next. So it is a beautiful house. It is yellow, which I have done yellow houses before, but I really like it. I think it looks really nice with the brick and everything. Also, this house has like... I don't know what you call it, like angle walls, a little weird kind of, you know, part. I don't know what you call it, but on the right, you can see it on the bottom right. And then there's another one on the left. And it's basically like, I don't know. I just want I just thought it looked cool basically. And there's all windows around it. And yeah, I really like it. I think it looks really nice. And it's definitely something different to my usual houses. I really like the screenshot of that actual house, like the thumbnail. I really like it as well um, and I think that the house like photographs really well and you know what I mean it just looked really nice in the thumbnail and everything because it's so interesting there's so much going on and yeah I'm actually really really happy with it and I am very excited for this to go up it is Friday afternoon I have literally had all week and I didn't do anything I didn't do any like sims anything like that I just haven't been on the computer at all I've had school. I've not been busy with it, but when I come home from school, I'm so tired to the point where I just want to like lay down, you know, and we literally do nothing all day. But just something about doing nothing all day is just as tiring as, you know, doing loads of work. So yeah, I usually kind of just lay down every day after school and didn't really get anything done, but it's fine. It doesn't really matter anyway, because I, you know, I have a build ready. And also next week, is the start of my summer holidays. I've got Monday, I think. I think I'm in school Monday. And then Wednesday, Thursday, I'm in Liverpool. And then I'm finished, which is amazing. I'm so happy. And I'm actually really looking forward to it because like, I feel like this year, this school year has gone really quickly, but also not really. Like, you know, I just want it to be over so that it can be summer. However, once it's over, it means, you know, we're on our way to a new school year, which is not great, but it's fine you know like I am looking forward to it like to summer and everything definitely and we've got plans for summer not really like anything major um and it's like a kind of early June things like that you know we we have plans and yeah and I need to think of things to do for my birthday too normally every year we just go shopping but I kind of like to do something different and in Dublin in the capital city of Ireland there is a cinema called Stella Cinema or something like that I'm not too sure but it is like this, oh, I don't know if I've mentioned this before in a voiceover or streams or something, but even if I haven't, or if I have, it doesn't matter, but it's this cinema and it is like really like old fashioned. I don't know when it is, like 20s or something like that, something, you know, 40s, I don't know. But basically it's got like little lamps on the tables and it's just really nice and I really like it and I would love to go there. But basically, what they they don't only play like old movies. They play current movies recently released, but also they do sometimes play old movies like from the eighties, from the nineties, earlier than that, whatever. And each day of the week will have a different movie on, which is really really cool. And I'm hoping that there's stuff on my birthday that are good. If not, you know, I might see if there's like a different day that we could, you know, have my birthday plans on or something like that. It could be kind of cool though, but I really want to go. I've seen other people who've gone before and it just, everything about it looks so good. And I really like, I, it's something about it, you know, it just seems really nice and like cozy and just the whole old fashioned cinema experience sounds like something I really want to experience, I guess. I think it looks really nice. But yeah, um, yesterday we, well, the past few days, Tuesday, uh, Thursday and Friday, we have had little trips and things like that and it's been so much fun. Yesterday, which was Thursday, when, you know, I know you're seeing this video and it'll be like Friday, as in yesterday, but Thursday, we went to the beach. So we left at like nine o'clock and it was like an hour and a half drive and it was so sunny. It was amazing. It was like 20 degrees. So it was like pretty hot here in Ireland. You know, that's pretty hot for us and it was so sunny and like I don't burn I know I don't tan I don't sunburn at all and I know it's still not great and like I shouldn't be not wearing sunscreen but like I was okay with it because we were only out there for an hour and yeah it was not great I said it on Twitter and my face is so pink so red like all over my nose my forehead and everything like that 
my scalp burns so badly. It is awful. Like, I didn't wear a hat. I don't know why I didn't wear a hat because I brought them with me and it was so sunny and I always burn. My scalp always burns, whereas everything else is fine, never burns. And my scalp was like bright pink. It was so bad and it, it was sore. Like brushing my hair hurt. I had a shower yesterday and the like the heat, the hot water on my head was so sore. I could just feel it. It was so bad. And then, yeah, like I said, my face burnt and I have like an SPF moisturizer and it's like pretty strong SPF. It's more like sunscreen rather than a moisturizer and it still just didn't work. I should have reapplied it, but even then it wasn't long since I had applied it to my face, but yeah, it just wasn't great. My arms as well. I had a t-shirt on. My arms were so pink. It was so bad, but it was it, basically the day was so fun and we were at the beach for an hour. We walked back to kind of the main point, which was like a little restaurant thing and we had food and it was so good. The food was actually really, really nice and um, just being out in the sun, being able to see the sea, eating like strawberries and brownies and pizza and things like that. It was just amazing and I really, really liked it and I'm like sad that it's over because like basically today we had another trip and that's it. That's all our trips finished and like I'm kind of glad because it's, you know, the, it's really winding down the year. It's really like coming straight to the end of the year but oh my god, I really just would love to go back and do some trips again because they were so good. They were really, really fun. But um, what is it? Today we went go-karting, which was really, like, I've never been go-karting before and loads of people were in school were asking me and they were like, have you been go-karting before? And I was like, no, I haven't. Like, but so many people had gone before and I thought that was surprising because I just didn't think it was just one of those things because in Ireland, there's not really a whole lot of go-karting things and even if there is, I've like never heard of them or never been to any of them or anything like that. Um, but no, it was amazing. It was really good. I was really nervous and we were basically split into groups of 20 and one group went first and we were the next group, like our 20 people. So we had to put like, like balaclava kind of things on to, I don't know, I think, was it something to do with the helmet? I'm not too sure, like to kind of protect our head from the helmet. And then we put a helmet and it was really heavy. Like, I was so surprised. I wasn't expecting it to be that heavy. But I'd, like, move my head and I was like, oh my god. Like, my whole head would be, like, falling over because the helmet was really heavy. But that was good. And then we sat into the go-karts. And I'm, like, not tall whatsoever. So I had to get my seat moved forward. And then they had to move the pedals, which was, like, the brake and the accelerator. They had to move that towards me. So basically every, my whole go-kart got adjusted just specifically for me and I like don't drive. I've never driven before and everyone was like, have you driven before? And I was like, no, I've never driven. And they were like, so surprised. Like everybody who hadn't driven, everybody who had driven was so surprised with them because it's one of those things that like with the go-karts, it's like a brake and accelerator in like a car and people were asking and they were like, oh, but how do I do this? How do I stop and start it and everything? And, you know, that's what people who had driven were like, you just need to press this and that, like, come on, it's really easy. But, um, no, it was really good. I thought we were gonna have to wear, like, boiler suits. And there's a lot of pictures of people wearing them. And I was like, oh my god, I don't really want to wear one because it's just, it's the same with, like, wetsuits when we're going, like, swimming and stuff like that. I just hate having to, like, put them on and whatever. But, I don't know, I just, we were able to just wear our own clothes, so it was good. It was really good. But we got out and... One, so there was two lanes when we were like first starting and there was about 10 people each lane and I was on the right hand side, of, like so there's a left lane and a right lane on the right hand side, the first person would go and they have to drive a bit and then brake so that the, you know, the people who work there would know that their go-kart was working and then once it's working they can go on and go around and I was going around and like after I'd done the brake and everything that was fine, I was going around and it was so fast like it felt so much quicker than I think it actually was and like I was going around the bends and I feel like I felt my go-kart tip up and I didn't but it, it something about it was so fast I just felt like I was gonna go flying like you weren't like strapped in you were kind of just sitting there and you just needed like hold on and everything but I swear I felt like I was on Mario Kart or something you know drifting around the corners that is really what it felt like but it was so good and we were meant to have a visor, or like we had a visor on a helmet and we were meant to put it down and I obviously never did. And oh my God, the amount of flies and whatever, like just flew into my face and into my eyes and everything, but it was fine. But 
I, like I was saying, I thought I was going really fast. And then all of a sudden, like a bunch of people start like, you know, overtaking me. And I'm like, oh my God, am I really that slow? And then the people who had just overtaken me, like a minute later, I see where they are and they're like about to overtake me again. Like I genuinely was so slow and they were so fast going around. And it was really good. There was like a leaderboard with all our names on it. So obviously there was 20 of us. So um, yeah, like I was saying, I thought I went really fast. Saw the leaderboard and I was 17th. <laughs> I was so slow. And I I thought I was so fast. And like every, there were people who were like first and they were like speeding around the corners. And I just couldn't. It just scared me too much to be doing that. But no, it was really, really good. And it's one of those things that I'd love to do it again. And it was really, I was telling my mother yesterday and the day before and I was like mm, I really don't want to go go-karting like I'm just anxious I'm just nervous about it because like you know like I said I've never driven so I didn't know how kind of how similar or different it would be to that and it like I don't again I like I can't really tell you how similar or different it is to that because I don't know but it really was not that bad like it was actually like really really fun and it's the kind of thing as well that yes there were like all your friends on the on the you know course whatever you want to call it on the racetrack but like you can't like you're not like kind of in contact with your friends like you're just doing your own thing you're driving past them and everything and then at the very end you kind of all are like back together and everything and you can talk about it and we got so many photos and yeah it was really really good it was really really fun it was really near us it wasn't like too far away like too far a drive and it was pretty good and uh yeah I really liked it this house is really nice sorry to just immediately change the subject but this house is really nice it's really bright in the inside obviously the outside is yellow and I kind of thought that as being like a brighter kind of color I wanted the inside to kind of be the same there's no yellow particularly in the inside but it's very white and I know there's like blue couches and stuff like that but I really like it this fireplace is from university I have never used it before but I actually really like it I think it's really really nice and in some way it kind of looks like a custom content one or like I don't know I feel like it just kind of fits in with like custom content and things like that it, it doesn't really make sense but in my head it makes sense but I really like it and I think it looks really really good and then obviously couches I'm using a lot of custom content because I really like these couches these are somewhere they're from probably the sims resource I couldn't tell you where though but I really like them they just look really comfy which is it's so weird but they they look really comfy but yeah, um, this video, this voiceover and video is 19 minutes long. I probably won't be talking for the full thing because I'll be honest, I uh, don't really have a whole lot to say other than what my plans were or not, you know, the trips and stuff, what they were like. But I hope you guys are all doing good. I'm trying to think, like, I don't think there's anything really in the news or anything upcoming. I really don't think there's anything like that going on. Like, I can't think of anything exciting. I, like, I'm trying to think. Um, well, there was a voting thing for The Sims 4. It was a little while ago, like a week or two ago. I think it was a week ago. But it was like, you had to vote for your favorite pack. And it looked really, really cool, actually. It was like a goth, like a, not a goth. Well, yeah, goth, like clothing or really bright clothing. And you had to pick one of them. And then there was also a castle and then like a more futuristic house. And it was really cool. I voted for, I believe the castle and... I'm trying to think I think I did the goth kind of darker clothing because there's a lot of like really bright clothes in the game already so I just thought something different may as well go for like the gothic dark clothing because I thought it looked really cool as well and it would be good for something different also it really does not affect me since you know I don't really play sims 4 too much but anyway it, it is what it is I don't you know but a vote on that if you haven't I don't know if it's still open but if it isn't or if it is whatever go check it out and try and vote for a new sims 4 pack it'd be really really cool um I have one more day of school did I say that oh I did say that I said it at the beginning I was like that sounds really familiar unless I said it in my head I feel like I remember saying something like that but no I did say it I do remember that now but um yeah basically it'll be summer and I'm really really excited I want to try and like do loads of sims and stuff and like any bit of free time build a little house or do a little voiceover or things like that and just get things done and try and stay on top of it because obviously over summer the time is probably going to get you know it's going to run away from me it's, I'm going to lose track of time and I will probably have plans with friends and things like that so 
not that I'm saying my schedule will be inconsistent. However, do not expect me to be on time every single day or every single week, I mean. And same with streaming. Don't expect me to ever be consistent because I probably never will be. But I always try my best and I always say that. I know in every voiceover I say it. But it's one of those things that I love streaming. I absolutely love it. But I only like it when I have time to do it. You know what I mean? There's no point streaming when I've only got like, you know, 20 minutes because it's no fun. I'd rather stream when I've got like two hours and I can kind of just relax and not even worry about it. And yeah, you know, really good. Really, really good. But anyway, this house is up for download in the description on Mediafire. I was looking at Mediafire and it's, I just, I didn't know Mediafire told you how many people downloaded each house. Oh my god. Thank you for everybody downloading the houses. It is insane seeing like the numbers of people on each download, on each like, you know, house download. It is crazy and it blows my mind every time I see it because I like, I need to check it. I'm like, wait, did I read that correctly? Like, it's just amazing. And you know, it's obviously massively appreciated. I really, really appreciate it. And um, yeah, I, I, <laughs> I really, really appreciate it. So thank you very much. If you've downloaded the houses, obviously if you can't download the houses, but you're seeing the videos and you watch them regularly, thank you as well. I really, really appreciate it because it obviously really helps me out. And same with subscribing. Like we are, honestly, we're on our way to 800. We're getting kind of close. We're about 59 away, I think. I know that sounds like a lot, but it genuinely is not. Like we could probably get there pretty quick because like you know it's insane you like it's just every time i check my subscriber count it goes up a bunch so thank you very much i really really appreciate it and um yeah i want to let you know you know how much i appreciate it and everything and i suppose like a good way of telling you i appreciate it is by making these videos like keep making them you know so thank you i really really appreciate it you people who are subscribing are what is keeping me consistent and motivated to keep doing this so thank you very much i really appreciate it but yeah the screenshots will be coming up very soon i probably won't like there's only like a minute left so i probably will like head off now and leave you with some music but then again i'll probably end up rambling about how i'm going to leave you with music and then end up being at the end of the voiceover so there's no room for music to be added but anyway don't forget to subscribe if you have not already we're trying to get to a thousand before my birthday which is the 10th of august so please subscribe if you have not already and like the video because it is you know great support and yeah i would really appreciate it but yeah like i said screenshots are upcoming down at the house i have some socials below like instagram and twitter also one thing really quickly i deleted all the cookies and well, maybe not cookies but like basically in your like settings on your browser where you can delete it and it like deletes every website you're logged into so you need to like re-log into them well i accidentally deleted all that so now i don't remember my instagram login login so if you see any screenshots on saturday like when this video goes out for of this house then you will know that i am able to log back in but if you do not see any screenshot then just know that i i don't remember my login for instagram so i'm sorry and also twitter i'm not logged into twitter on here anymore and I don't really know my login. But anyway, I hope you all have a good rest of your day or night, whatever. And um, yeah, have a good summer. And I will see you next week for next week's video. Or maybe at a stream. Goodbye.